Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, some of you, uh, we met last year at this time, but we are here a second time in uh, One Hope. And uh, before I go to share about our ministry and uh, how God is working in Mongolia in transforming lives, and I want to show you the short video about introducing. It's give you an idea about Mongolia and our ministry and who we are. Okay. Greetings from Witness Mongolia Church Planting Ministry. Time flies. Witness Mongolia, we planted two churches last five years. We are excited to share with you about our ministry. We planted our first church named City Vision in Ulaanbaatar, February 2018. Second church planted in Western Mongolia of September 2021. Pray for Mongolia. Pray for the people. They're wonderful people. And we have a wide door of opportunity to preach and proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. So thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. It's all about Jesus. In the 13th and 14th centuries, the Mongols established the largest land empire in human history. At its furthest extent, the Mongolian Empire stretched from the coast of China along the northern border of the Himalayas, encompassing much of today's Middle East, from Persia to the Black Sea, much of South Central Russia and Ukraine, and Europe to the gates of Vienna. This was done on foot, wagon, and most famously, on horseback. The East Asian country is the 18th largest country in the world, sandwiched between Russia and China. With a size more than twice as large as Texas, it only houses around 3.3 million people, making it by far the least densely populated country in the world. In the early 90s, communism collapsed. You couldn't buy flour, sugar, shoes, or even a pen. The Russian suppliers had pulled out. There was nothing left. How could we send our children to school in those conditions? So all of my seven children became herders, like me. The Soviet collapse strongly influenced Mongolia's youth, politics, and economy. While life was difficult for the Mongolian people, the door for the gospel message began to open. In Ulaanbaatar, capital city of Mongolia, population are 1.5 million, and the total of 265 churches are in Ulaanbaatar, and 303 churches are rest of the country. In the result, 568 churches were involved in the survey. According to Mongolian Church Research Report 2019, Including Ulaanbaatar today in Mongolia, we over 360 cities and towns spread out to 603,000 square miles, 3.3 million people. There is 170 of them still no church planted yet past 32 years. While here, I had a chance uh, to meet with pastors who came from all over Mongolia with a heart to see this nation saved. I encouraged them to share their gospel, to plant churches, and we're talking about coming back for further ministry. City Vision Church. City Vision Church was planted in February of 2018 in the southern part of Ulaanbaatar. Now, on every Sunday, there are 30 adults and 30 young children gathering there, worshiping God together. In the last five years, 20 of them made decision to believe in Jesus. 
and attended our discipleship program and baptized too. Witness Mongolia Second Church planted in Western Mongolia Holt, September 2021. Holt City is the main town in Holt Province. Holt is one of the very western provinces and from Ulaanbaatar it is 1,000 miles drive. I want to now introduce you to our church planter couple who sent from Ulaanbaatar to Holt. The husband is Moji. His wife is a Dawa, and they have a baby, Aydona. They married in July 21, and after their wedding, they went to Hobbs to plant the church. I continually thank God for this young couple because they said yes to the Lord for church planting. Hi everyone, my name is Moji. And my name is Dawa, and my daughter is Aydona. We are in Hop or Church Planting. Church Planting. And we married last year and we have a very little baby and she is for uh, five months. Thank you so much. For supporting us and supporting our family and our church planting. God bless you. God bless you. We would like to offer you the opportunity to become a part of our mission to share the gospel with the people of Mongolia from Buddhists to shamanists and even communist atheists. I want to say thank you so much for everyone and praying for us and supporting and being part of our ministry and mission in Mongolia. And thank you so much everything and thank you, and praise God, and God bless you. Okay. Okay, now you have an idea about Mongolia and who we are. It's, uh, Mongolia is uh, one of the coldest countries. Right now, it's, uh, it's a midnight. It's uh, below 0, 025 uh, Fahrenheit. That's why we wear animal skin coats and animal skin hats. That's uh, we survive. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, my fox skin hat, and uh, in the video, in the when I greeting about uh, our ministry, I was wearing my own uh, lambskin coat. That's that we uh, when we go to church planting trip, uh, some rural areas. Uh, that's the big help for us, animal skin coats, and uh, I have also a brochure, a sapphire. And uh, if you interesting more details, you can have this and you can read. And there is some, uh, some more testimonies. Okay, my name is Sheikha. And uh, I really want to thank you so much, Pastor Peter and my dear friend, uh, Mike and Linda, and One Hope Church. This is my second time here and I'm visiting and sharing this, uh, my heart and uh, my vision. Is, uh, our ministry is a church planting. And uh, also, I want to say thank you so much uh, for your financial support last year. And uh, it means one hope all you folks already in the boats with us and church planting. And that's why I want to say thank you so much. I, I just want to encourage you maybe four points uh, next five minutes. I want to encourage is uh, what I learned for church planting last five, six years. It's uh, before that, <clears throat> last century between uh, before 1920, Mongolia was a very strong Buddhist. Then when Russians came to Mongolia in 1921, Mongolia became a communist. Then uh, Russian communists totally wiped out Buddhism uh, back in 1930s and 40s. They, uh, Russians started a communist uh, uh, cultural revolution, 1950s and 60s. That's a totally wiped out all Buddhism and shamanism, and uh, Mongolia proclaimed uh, communist atheist until 1990. When 1990 communism collapsed, Russians left our country, is the first missionaries came to Mongolia 32 years ago. Before 1990 in Mongolia was no Christians, no church, no Bible available. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And, but when 1990 Russians left our country, first missionaries came, they shared the good news and gospel of Jesus spread all over the Mongolia. That's why our Christian heritage is only 32 years 
is my wife and me, we came to the early 90s, right after communism uh, collapsed. And uh, that's why we are first Christians in our family. Also, we are first Christians in our country. In the last uh, 32 years in my Christian life, I planted two churches. That's our first church 25 years ago, 1998. And second church I planted in Northwest Mongolia, 2005. But these two church, I didn't plan to plant because it's just happened, the grace of God. Because that time, 25 years ago, I was a new Christian. I was a young, and uh, I didn't know how to plant the church because there's a, many young people came. They want to know about Christ. That's how we planted. <clears throat> but six years ago, uh, God just uh, gave, me, uh, gave us a new vision, church planting, uh, especially those rural areas in countryside. Because we have a huge land, 600,000 uh, 600, square mile, but uh, we have a very low population, 3.3 million people. Many village and towns very isolated. But <clears throat> we have an opportunity. That's the internet and online is a very good, uh, connected with all village. But challenge is, is because of the low population, road condition is not so good. In the winter time, lots of snow. In summertime, is a muddy and rocky and yeah. But God is working. At last 32 years, God is working. He's transforming lives, and His Holy Spirit working. And yeah, He is so great. Yeah, I, I told you that is the one hope is already in the boat with us. That's why I want to next thing, next five minutes. I just want to encourage you. Uh, I learned last five, six years because of this ministry, I learned how important church planting. Because church planting is, a, uh, there is a one of the, church planting is sharing good news, we know. We are enlarging his kingdom. But another thing is, God also wants to teach us uh, something. That's why I want to encourage you and teach uh, how important church planting I want to share. Okay, this is my family. This is an old picture, about four years ago. It's in the studio, and everyone is, uh, looks good. <laughs> yeah, it's, my name is Sheikha. My wife is a Haka. Oh, okay. It's, my daughter is uh, 21. My uh, son tw uh, 17, and younger son is uh, 13. Yeah, we are, is, uh, we call, we are glass tribe. <laughs> All we have a glass. <laughs> Okay, I just want to uh, encourage you how important church planting. I learned these four things, especially in Mongolia, but in US and China and everywhere, I think same. But in Mongolia, I learned uh, last uh, five, six years when I planting church. Number one thing is uh, church planting. Uh, church is uh, one of the best thing to proclaim. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only way to go to heaven and uh, connect with uh, Creator, with God. That's why I believe church is one of the best way to proclaim justification and sanctification. Uh, that's why uh, Peter Wagner, he said, planting new churches is the most effective evangelistic methodology known under heaven. You can see there is a Dalai Lama, he having the cross. Do you know why? Because Mongolian people is very crazy is 50-60% uh, is a Buddhist and shamanist. It's one of the big challenge. Uh, many, uh, many people very open to uh, hear, hear about Jesus. But one of the big challenge, when we're sharing good news, those Buddhist people, they saying, oh, Sheikha, you guys, is, uh, our way is different. You as a, you as a Christian go to Sunday uh, church. We go to a Buddhist temple and pay money and monks pray for us. But our way is different, but our last destination is the same. We will see in the he heaven each other. We will see your God. We will see Buddha, and we will see Dalai Lama. And that's why that's a, one of the big challenge to share goodness. Then we say, no, there is a only one way that's a Jesus. No Buddhist way, no uh, Islamic way, no shamanist way, new age, no new age. There is a only one. Only Jesus can uh, justify, only Jesus can satisfy. Because Buddhist day says, no, we can justify ourselves. Because I have enough money, 
I can pay money for this uh, priest. They can pray for us. And also, I can, rest of my life, I can uh, sanctify myself because Buddhist monks pray for us. That's why <clears throat> I, uh, I learned last uh, six, seven years how important church planting because church is proclaim Jesus is the only way. Jesus is just the only fruit reach the heaven and to God. That's why I learned. Uh, but still God is working and touching those Buddhists. Oh yeah, there is a Jesus is the only. Okay, second thing I want to uh, share, how important church planting. Because, <clears throat> because of the church planting, there is a new workers come. Because book of Matthew chapter 9, uh, verse 35, 38, Jesus said, there is a harvest is plentiful, but workers few. But when we planting new church, there is a new workers come. New, new workers come and uh, people, uh, because of the new church planting, there is a people come and they want to serve the God. You can see there is a young couple, is a Moji and Dawa. They are a very young couple, but uh, last year when they married, uh, they heard a calling from God, church planting. Because they are so excited for church planting. Because they want to go to mission many times, but this time they uh, went to the west part of Mongolia and Hoft, because there is a one university uh, they want to reach out those university students and uh, train them and disciple them and send them to their uh, small village, uh, local church planters. Because of church planting, there is a new workers come. Praise God. And the uh, third thing is new church <coughs> planting is uh, new church waters all planted seeds. Yeah, because I want to incur uh, I want to share about Dr. Toya, is uh, Dr. Toya and my wife, and uh, Dr. Toya is a burn reconstructive surgeon. She works in burn hospital. Uh, she is a surgeon. Fifteen years ago, my wife is a physical therapist. She works in private clinic and also she uh, do medical ministry in Mongolia. Fifteen years ago, when my wife started medical ministry. Uh, my wife, she shared good news to Dr. Toya. And uh, she came to my uh, previous church, before City Vision, before Witness Mongolia. That's 15 years ago. She uh, visited my church several times, but she never come back again. Do you know the reason why? Because my previous church, and Mike knows, my previous church is full of young people. Very noisy, <laughs> loud music, it's a crazy active people. But Dr. Toya is a very uh, educated person in middle age, and that's why she never come back. But uh, between these uh, last over 10 years, we still try to connect with her and share good news, and many times uh, visit her hospital and pray for her. But five years ago, when we planted City Vision Church next to her house, <laughs> City Vision Church is also middle aged people and professional people, doctors and lawyers. Then she received Christ. That's why we, uh, we already planted uh, seeds in her heart. But first, 10 years didn't work. But when we plant the church, that's the we reach out those people. The next uh, person is a buggy. It's, uh, in the video, there is a we baptizing in icy water. One guy, he's a buggy. Because uh, four years ago, uh, 10 years ago, his bank uh, he was a banker, has collapsed, he lost money, and he became a Buddhist. Buddhism didn't work. She no, he became a shamanist. Shamanism didn't work. But four years ago, when we planted our new church, City Vision, and then also next to her house, <coughs> he visited our church, he received Christ. Now he is a uh, very good one of our church, uh, helping in the ministry. That's why I really encourage it. New church planting is reach out those seeds already planted. Okay, very last thing is, of course, uh, how, church, how, how church planting is important because I learned, uh, we may learn uh, from new churches because God all the time wants to teach new church many new things. 
That's four things I just want to encourage you because I told you one hope already in the boat with us. That's why I want to share you, encourage you uh, what I learned last four years in church planting. Okay, thank you so much. You have an idea about Mongolia, idea about Skuya and church planting. Thank you so much. Yep.